December 3rd, the December 14th, 2023. It's about 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Actually, I got my antiwar.com sweatshirt. Shout out to Scott Horton, merchengine.com. Top this stuff, the lobsters on Twitter's, or X, I should say. I'll run some errands, but I was just thinking about something on my, my ride home. So people were talking about being alone during the holidays. And that it's something that started during COVID and, and, and moved and, and stayed together. And it's a way to separate, separate people. And I was just dwelling on that because I spend a lot of holidays alone. I prefer it. <laughs> uh, I don't like the stress and the anxiety and the obligation associated with holidays anymore. So... I just cook for myself, I have a nice meal, I relax, I do whatever I want. But that's not the purpose of this video. I was just thinking that supposedly the United States of these Americas, or the United States, these United States of America, is a Christian country which celebrates Christian holidays, or it used to be. Now they just create holidays. They put it on a Google calendar and they push it and push it. And then within like a year or two, the government takes the lead from Google and turns it into an actual holiday. But I was just thinking, why is the government telling people when their holidays are? Why is the government telling Christians when their holidays are? And I was thinking this because Jewish people celebrate their holidays according to their book, the Torah. And they get time off and no one lets them get in trouble because they're Jewish. But the government tells Christians when they can take their holidays off for the most part. And there's probably exceptions to the rule. But many probably know scholars and stuff that like a lot of what's going on as far as like December 25th and stuff doesn't match up with the Bible and I've heard things where it would really be in April and then North Star was here and then a change and what have you but basically the days that the holidays are given to you are not based on the Bible they're based on the government so if this is a Christian country why does the government and not the churches or not the people that are religious choose the holidays? And somebody said, well, the government is religious, it is Christian. But it's not anymore, right? So it would seem to me that if it was a Christian country, you would take, it would be based on biblical times, and it would be handed down by biblical scholars in the Bible and even priests and fathers and such. For example, I grew up Greek Orthodox. And we have a different, uh, a lot of different holidays that go by an old calendar and moons. So Greek Easter uh, is based on the moon. It's different every year. It's not a set date like government given Easter. And, and so on and so forth. So if you're celebrating any other religions, you can take the time off that you need and you ask your boss and they have to give you these holidays off. But if you're a Christian, you're assigned the holidays that you're off. And people say, well, they get the time off anyways and everybody gets the time off. But that's not the case anymore. So, I guess my argument is that for a long time, it seems to me that although uh, the Founding Fathers had Christian values and probably believed in a Christian deity of some sort, in Biblical terms, 
the current system seems uh, to be secular at minimum but secular wouldn't put religious holidays in the calendar so what would you call a country that puts perceived religious holidays on a calendar on the incorrect dates that they should be celebrated huh? what am I saying I don't know it's an interesting thought experiment. So maybe it's just, you know, maybe I'm being conspiratorial, but, you know, maybe it's just, uh, what, is a, what is a camel but a horse by committee? So like, if you're gonna get everybody to agree, uh, have to agree on one day to celebrate it, those are the days and it's just become tradition. And, you know, some of them, I, you know, aren't religious. Thanksgiving that they're turning they, they split that up so if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving you can celebrate uh, in, indigenous people day but then it's like well Thanksgiving isn't really about it's about giving it's a day of grace and thanks now it started with the, you know the story of the pilgrims and stuff but now when they make an indigenous people this day they're like well don't give thanks think about the, the indigenous people and it's like well what tribe of indigenous people the violent cruel ones the good ones the healthy ones the evil ones so it's like it's it's just become like um contrarian it's like oh this side of the country does this and this side does this and what side are you on um and now the movie will probably be out by the time I post this video. Maybe not. But now they got a Civil War movie coming out where, like, you know, America goes into Civil War and it's multiple Civil Wars. It's not just one side versus the other side. And there's a scene where, like, it's a child and some people and they run into a guy and he's in a camouflage with a long rifle. And they're like, they're like, don't shoot. We're Americans. And he's like, straw in his mouth well I, well I ding ding say I'm a red <laughs> you know what type of American what type of American are you it's all stereotypical uh, and and it's like instead of adding more holidays that are government sanctioned right why why do they keep peeing in the pool if people and like I get the people like oh you're taking that away but they, it's not that they should take it away you should have freedom of assembly freedom of speech uh, you know freedom to be yourself so if they removed Christmas from the government calendar all the Christians could still take that time off to go be Christian and tell the rest of the country that's trying to get them to work to go F themselves um well, they were doing it in a much nicer way. They would tell them, hey, you should have Jesus. You ever think about letting Jesus grab the wheel? <laughs> uh, and instead of creating, the, the creating holidays to get people to fight with one another. The idea of a holiday originally was unity. Everything slows down and we all give thanks. And now it's like, okay, how can we cause division? Let's create two holidays on that same day. And then everybody's like, well, where do you lie? Like, now, if you get together, are we getting together for Indigenous Peoples Day or Thanksgiving? It's just designed. It's designed in that manner. And let me tell you something, not to get all Kanye yay yay on you, but they're not creating secondary holidays on Jewish holidays, are they? Or they're not creating... Uh, contrasting things so they're not meaning like you know like you could go back in time and be like okay so they're celebrating um, you know that whatever the satyrs are or whatever and they'll be like oh this was uh, German candle making day are you celebrating German candle making day or Jewish satyr and it's like uh, I can celebrate neither or I could choose to make candles that day if I wanted to. Isn't this supposed to be a free country? And if I make candles on that day, 
it doesn't mean that it's necessarily anti-Jewish, but they could frame it. They could frame it in that manner if they wanted to. So I'm almost home. So I guess I'm just going to say, what's with the attack on the holidays? And I would guess that has something to do with it. it used to be a way to unite people, to give families and everybody a break to meet up. And now they want to figure out a way to drive some division and they're doing it with holidays and uh, they're like well pick a side now pick a side pick a holiday side I said damn it what side of the holidays are you on huh tell me what holiday side are you on <laughs> <sighs> oh, yes acting acting thank you thank you <laughs> so uh Write, write, write a little comment below having some fun here this will probably come out after the holidays so i hope you have a good holiday whether it be uh you're celebrating festivus with the rest of us airing your grievances if you're celebrating kwanzaa or christmas or hanukkahs whatever it may be may you have uh, nothing but happiness and joy and good family experience so all right take care